Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're making that cool spiral vortex geometric type thing that you see in the thumbnail. It's actually a really easy tutorial and let's jump right into it. First off, I'm going to start with making our um, background and I'll make it black. Then command two to lock your background in place. Um, next, we want to grab our rectangle tool again. We're going to place it on stroke and uh, choose your stroke color and draw your square. Keep shift key selected or hold, held, hold down um, to make keep it into a square to keep the proportions. Otherwise, if I leave that, I'm going to make it a rectangle and not a perfect square. Anyways, you make your square. Let's place it in the center over there. Then you are going to grab the scissors tool or press C on your keyboard. You're just going to click once in every corner. That way you're going to divide this square into four separate lines. Anyways, you're going to select your lines. You're going to adjust your stroke weight. I'll maybe go with like a three or something like that. And then you're going to change its width profile. I might go with something like this or something more drastic like this. And I'm going to actually add more. Maybe go with, yeah, something like six or seven. I'll make this bigger so that the whole artboard is covered. Let me zoom out so you guys can see better. Mm, command G to group everything together, all our four lines. Then just go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform. And we are going to move actually, my mistake, we're going to scale horizontal and vertical. You can see, maybe I'll go with 96 and 96. Um, we're going to add a bunch of copies till we reach the center. Now, if you want the spacing to be less between the lines, you're just going to increase this number and go to like something like 98. Um, I think I like 96. It gives a pretty good spacing. Um, the last thing you need to do, and that's where it gets cool, is just change the angle by a couple degrees. Look at that. It's so cool. I like to keep it low number, so maybe three is good for me. Um, then you can just click here and make it into a gradient. Let's go with a radial gradient. And you can click here, select the gradient you want. I'm just going to click back here and select the pink color that I like. And here I'll select black color as my background. You can you can uh, you can leave it as a solid color as well as we had it before. I feel like this gives it like a really cool um, 3D looking spiral effect. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe, leave a like, comment if you have tutorial requests. Um, give me a follow on Instagram. I post 20 to or 15 second tutorials of these longer ones that I post here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.